Some call it offensive. Others say it's just outdated. Forms going out for this year's census contain a word choice that's already stirring up controversy. Misa Mariama is live downtown tonight with the word that's become a lightning rod for debate. Misa? Nicole, the 2010 census form gives people the option of describing their race as Negro. A prominent black politician says this all stems from a generational divide. She says some in the older generation even prefer to call themselves Negro. But a University of New Mexico professor says some in the younger generation have a different take. State Representative Jane Paldrell Colbert believes the word used to be considered an improvement over the alternative. I think prior to the 60s, you have a generation of uh, African Americans who preferred Negro because Negro is certainly better than being called colored. Decades later, the word Negro is still around. It shows up on the latest census form. Question number nine asks about race, with one of the answers listed as black, African American, or Negro, a term more often used decades ago. For some, it brings back memories of fighting for civil liberties. It is time now to write the next chapter. No, and you will find that uh, African American families that have family members that probably are 68, 69, and maybe older prefer the term Negro. For others, not so much. Younger people are, first of all, used to being called either black or African American. That's a, a choice that they make. And um, the word Negro has negative connotations for many of them because of um, the activity that happened during the 60s and the civil rights and especially the uh, more militant black power movement. Negro came to be associated with um, a certain kind of complacency or servility um, and unwillingness to fight for your rights. And so at the end of the day, census officials say using the word Negro is about inclusion. About 50,000 people identify themselves as Negro in the 2000 census. Now, when more people identify themselves that way, more federal funding goes to programs catering to racial minorities. Ms. Moriyama, Eyewitness News 4.